Welcome to the Auslink for UPS demonstration on batch shipping international transactions. Manually typing information for an international shipment can be time consuming. Auslink Plus allows users to automate this process by passing all the required data fields to UPS WorldShip. Let's assume that you already have Auslink mapping completed for a basic domestic shipment. Here are the data fields you will need to add to your mapping to accommodate international processing. I'll go under the Add ins tab. And I'll first click the Styles icon. I want to make sure that I'm dealing with the appropriate style. In my case, it's called Sample Shipping. I'll then click on the Setup icon. I'll go into the Data Sent to UPS tab. And you'll notice the bottom section of my mapping fields, I have all the required international data fields chosen. We have Units, Country of Origin, currency code, description of goods, shipment description of goods, unit price, unit of measure, and ship to country. Let's take a look at how you would add one of these data fields. I'm going to remove my units field to show you how that can be selected. I'll click add. I know the units field falls under the goods category, so I'll change my category to goods. I'll then select the units field and click OK. It adds it to my list. I'll then click on the drop down arrow to select my appropriate spreadsheet column. In this case it's column T and my new international data field is mapped. Keep in mind that when mapping international data fields you will be required to change your category. Again once I'm under my add function you have a category list here that can be changed. Some of the information for international processing will be found under the international documentation. Other information will be found under the goods category. And you'll also find some of the fields under the shipment information category. Now let's go process an actual transaction. Row number nine of my spreadsheet has an international transaction ready to go. I'll highlight the row. I'll click send to UPS. I'm going to click on my customs documentation tab to see that all my international data fields have been added to the transaction. I'll click Process Shipment. The label is printed, and we're ready for our next transaction. Other international data fields can be added to further automate the international shipping process, but this video simply illustrates the minimum data fields required. For more information on Auslink, please visit www.ozdevelopment.com.